video, we're going to look at a somewhat confusing standard deviation problem where the SAT is going to give you the standard deviation value, which is not something that many of you are familiar with, but this problem is really easy to solve if you know the concept of standard deviation. And if you don't, please watch the video that I'm going to link up above because we talked about standard deviation at length there. But for now, I'm going to minimize myself and uh, give you an opportunity to solve this problem by yourselves. Only unpause me once you've done the problem. All right, so you're given two sets, two surveys. For one, the mean is 13.9. For another, the mean is 15.1. But the standard deviation is the same. What does that mean? That means that if we were to graph these sets, for one, the mean would be 13.9. For another, the mean would be 15.1. But since the standard deviation is the same, that means within one standard deviation, we're going to add 1.5 and we're going to subtract 1.5. So right here, we're going to have 12.4. I'm subtracting 1.5 and now I'm going to add. It's going to be 15.3. And this is one standard deviation where 68% of data will lie. And then it's going to go like this. It's going to be like a regular bell curve. Similarly here, we're gonna go into here. We are gonna add 1.5, so we're gonna be at 16.6. And we will subtract um, 1.5, which will mean we will be at, I'm gonna use my calculator. Apologize. 15.1 minus 1.5 is, yeah, it would be great if you actually punched in the numbers correctly. Uh, minus 1.5, that gives me 13.6. Yes, the values look different, but the data is spread in the exact same way. So this is going to be 68%. Right here, this is going to be 90 Five. Just remember 68 within one standard deviation, 95 within two standard deviations from the mean. And the right answer is actually C because the variation in the distribution is the same in both surveys. Yes, we start at different means, but the variation is the same. The spreadness of those values is identical because the standard deviation is the same. Hope this video helped you guys. I'll see you in the next video where we tackle even more confusing standard deviation problems.